Okay, we should be live. Hello, everybody. Hello, Mr. Butch. Hi, everybody. It's Miss Rhodes here coming to you from the Ben May Main Library with and Mr. Butch from the Moore Branch Library. And um, today is a special day. Um, I don't know if you can guess whose birthday it is, Miss Rhodes. I think you're dressed up in his honor. I am, and I can, I just want to But it's not you. the cat. No. Mm -mm. Do you, Miss Rhodes, like green eggs and ham? I do. You do? I do. Would you eat them I on a boat? I think it's because I read the book, but yes, I do. Would you eat them on a boat? Yes. Would you eat them with a goat? No. You would? Well, I'd <laughs> eat them with a goat anyway. So yes, today, well, there went my hat. Dr. Seuss's 118th birthday is today. 118. So that, one, that one keeps falling off. So I'm going to put this one on because I am the world's biggest leprechaun. Hmm. Leprechauns, green, <gasps> there's a leprechaun. There's a leprechaun behind you. And a And a rainbow. rainbow. Is there a I pot think... of gold at the end of that rainbow? Lord, I wish, don't I? <laughs> don't I wish there was. <laughs> I even brought a book about. There was an old lady who swallowed a clover. I better watch out. She's going to swallow the antenna. That's right. She's going to, you're not going to have anything. Yeah, on on my your head. Head. And there's a rainbow at the end. So yes, lots of fun stuff. Plus this is national women's month. If I'm not mistaken. Also, so with their women's lots history of stuff, month, you know, everybody thinks, oh, March, Mardi Gras. And well, Mardi Gras is over. Was in February this year. That's right. It ended so, first. Absolutely. So I so hope everybody this, had Mr. a much. I want to make sure everyone knows that this month, if you comment and let us know that you're here and participate with us, we have a water bottle, a Mobile Public Library water bottle that you can win. I still uh, don't have let's one. Let's see some comments. Yeah, I still don't have one, Miss Rhodes, because I can't win one. And I, you know, I don't think it's really fair, but that's okay. You <laughs> know, I mean, I work here. You'd think they'd give me a, a water bottle, but no, no mm -hmm. water bottle for Mr. Butch. Nope, that's why he has to make his own rainbow windsock, which you can get later in the month at the Moore Branch. And his leprechaun, which there he is. There he is. That's another craft you can come and get here this month. You have hats. I have a hat this month. I don't know if you realize this, but Pi Day is this month all about circles on March the 14th, 314, 3.14, it's pi. So we're gonna use circles and the math of circles this month in STEM club and make our leprechaun some hats. That is neat. I never forget my mother told me that she went in and um, when the doctor said, um, pi r squared, she said, no, pi r round. <laughs> <laughs> Some of the older kids might get that one. I don't know, we'll see, we'll see anyway. But yeah, I mean, you have pi, this 314 this month. Do you know what the fifth is? The Ides of March. The Ides of March. That's another famous oh, day oh, in history. You know what else today is though? What? Today is Read Across America Day. Well, let's see. Reading Across America is today, and it was started in memory of who? One fish, two fish, red fish, blue fish. 
Dr. Seuss. Dr. Seuss. Dr. Which Seuss. happens to be one of the books that I'm reading today. Oh, I read Across America you. Day. And I'm reading the one that he wrote, that he had published very first. And to think that it was on Mulberry Street, published the same year Mr. Butch's mama was born, 85 years ago. His first book, 1937. So Dr. Seuss, birthday, read across America and all those wonderful books. But, and I would have showed it to you, but Mr. Butch's favorite Dr. Seuss book is one that nobody knows much about. And I showed it to some kids this morning and they checked it out. <laughs> I'd rather them be reading it than me just have it here to hold for you. And it's called Dr. Seuss's Sleep Book. And it's all about going to sleep. to sleep. And my favorite character in there is, do you know who's asleep down in the Funa Laguna? Two very nice Funa Laguna Babuna. <laughs> I love Funa Laguna Baboonas. But anyway, so we've got Dr. I need well, that book after I read my new book, Sneaks. Sneaks. It's called Sneaks. It's by Catherine Egan. And I, ju I just found it on the new bookshelf. And it says there, the hallways in Ben and Charlotte and Akeem's school are filled with objects that are sneaking around. Scary objects? He is ben is chased down the hall by his teachers. Watch. <laughs> well, you know, Mr. Butch was a teacher and I don't know if Mr. Butch could have handled being chased by something down the hall. Other he than thought he was dreaming, but he, Ben thought he was dreaming, but he wasn't dreaming. It was his teacher's watch. And then they found other objects chasing them and sneaking around. And there's a book that's going to help them, but they've got to um, get the book and all kinds of dangerous creatures. And so it looks really good. And I picked it up today and I started reading it and I didn't want to put it down, but I had to come do Wacky Wednesday. So um, Next yeah, month, I like meeting with all of y'all. Yeah. Next I, month I, I might need your Dr. It. Seuss book next so that I can get some sleep. There you go. I brought a new book too. We just got this one last month. And well, Mr. Butch has three fluffy babies at home. I know that you have a puppy at home. Well, Mr. Butch has three kitty cats. And he saw this new book. Cat hats. And if you look on the back, look at all these different types of hats that are actually cats. It's a shop you go in and the cats go in and they pretend to be the hat on your head. Look at this one with the football helmet with the tail as the chin guard. Cool. So, <laughs> cute book. And that one on the front's even winking at you. Like, he's probably up to absolutely no good, just like mine are most of the time. So, cat hats, something that... Are the cats trying to fool you that they're hats so that you'll take them home? You know what? I don't know. I haven't read it yet. I just saw it and went, oh, cat hats. So, it looks like it's a store that you can go into. But I like the artwork too. I'll have to watch for that one. I didn't see it on the new shelf. I'll have to look for it. Well, it came out on February the 10th. So it's a relatively new, new book. But okay. I, I have another new book for you. You know, okay. you're always teaching me new things so that because I'm supposed to learn something every day, right? So my this book says, is going to help. Absurd words. That's oh a kid's fun and hilarious vocabulary building for future word nerds. Okay. I have a word for you. Okay. Let's see if I've heard it before. Brouhaha. 
I've heard that one before. I think a brouhaha means like a big loud get together and it's just a big lots of noise and oh god all the brouhaha. Am I right? Correct. It's a noisy, chaotic commotion, especially about a specific thing or event. Oh. In some of these words, it tells us the roots, where the root came, where, where the word came from. So brouhaha is it's some sort of an has its Hebrews in have its origins in Hebrew. Okay. Linguists haven't quite reached an agreement on where it comes from, but it might be as old as Hebrew. Some think it's just an imagination of a noisy, imitation of a noisy situation. Others think that a brouhaha is a distortion of the Hebrew phrase, baruhaba. I hope I said that right, which means blessed is the person who comes used as a welcome or greeting. And this says that Jewish people are known for doing things in community. So if a lot of people arrive somewhere at once, it's likely it'll get noisy and confusing, just like a brouhaha. Bruha. Well, see, now I know something that I didn't know. I'd heard the word, but I didn't know where it came from. It's fun reading the origins of the word, and there are nice pictures. Oh, yeah. And Try also, to stump me with another one. Okay. Braggadocio. I've never heard that one before, but it ends in an O, so it sounds like it might be Italian, but I don't know. There are two definitions. Okay. One, someone who boasts or brags a lot is a braggadocio. Braggadocio. Or it can be a noun, the act of bragging or boasting. Okay. Here it is in a sentence. The braggadocio thinks he's the most popular kid in the neighborhood and keeps dropping the names of all his so-called friends. Oh, okay. That one I did not know. So you stumped me that time. I stumped you. You learned something new today. I did. I've heard of braggadocious, but not braggadocio. Okay. All right. So we've got the bottle to give away. Who mm -hmm. won the bottle last time? Do we know? You don't remember. I don't remember. I should have brought that with me. That's okay. <laughs> <laughs> we need to announce the winners of the. See, I have them here. The winners of the float contest Ooh, that they yes. have at West Regional. We don't have any joining us today so far. Well, they're out of, you know, most of the schools are not in this week. And today's right. actually Wednesday. So, you know, maybe they're out enjoying the pretty weather. You and I are stuck inside, but it's good to be stuck inside when we're talking with the kiddos. So, but we have it some big events. It was A13. Let me share it with uh, the share screen. Let me try this one more time. Give us okay. another fact or a book. All right. Did you know that Dr. Seuss wrote some books under a different name? Was it Theodore Stig? Lustig. Lustig. Did, did you know that Lustig is his real last name spelled backwards? I did not. His last name is Geisel. And if you turn Lasag or Lasig around, it spells Geisel. Theo Lasag. T-H-E. His name was Theodore Seuss Geisel. 
So he wrote the books, but he didn't draw the pictures. Cool. Like 10 apples up on top. He wrote that, but he didn't draw the pictures. Oh, look at the okay. float. So Here's the float. Of course, it should be Georgia since they won, but anyway. I'm from Georgia, so I have to say that. I'm, I'm obligated. Okay, on your end, are the floats scrolling across? Yes, they are. Very good. It is sharing properly. I want everybody to be able to see all of them. We're coming up on the winner of the A group here ages five and under. And there's the winner of the five and under, A13. It's really that, cool work. Yeah, from Frozen. Mm -hmm. All of these are so good. The creativity. And then group B, ages six to nine. Again, such wonderful creativity in all of them. Wow. Some of these could actually go down the street. There's that good. Absolutely. They're definitely that good. And there's the winner. Congratulations, B15. All right. Look at all those feathers. Yeah. And the right colors and the big. Wow. I may have seen one like that drive past the library. These are just must be honorable. This is group C, oh, ages group C. nine to 12. And there's the winner of group C, C7. Congratulations. All right. And there was a link on the Facebook page so that people could vote for their favorites of these. Oh, neat. Wow. Now, next week, I'm having um, mad scientists. We're going to be doing a science experiment, I think, next week here. What are some of the things that are going on around the rest of the library system at the different libraries? Do we have something that tells us all the neat stuff? We do. Let me try this screen share again. If not, I can tell you what I'm doing. I know next week. I'm doing the Here um, mad scientist. And then You're doing office. mad scientist? I wonder mad if, scientist. I hope it's in my slides. There we go. I don't know. Let's see. Ooh, I hope so. It should be. March events at Mobile Public Library. There's Read Across America. That's right. Going on not just today, but all week at Sims Regional Library. Children ages four to 14 can check out 10 books and they will be put in a drawing to receive. Well, actually, they take out 10 books and they receive a free book, is what it says. Wow. One I free book. That's so if you get 11 experience. books, you have to take, you get to keep one's yours, and you have to take the other 10 back. And they can join the club and explore science, technology, engineering, art, math, and hands-on activities here at the Ben May Main Library. We start tomorrow at four, every Thursday after school at four. We will come prepared to get messy. No. We're gonna dig in. Uh, where can, I reckon you think they'll let me off so I can come down? I hope so. That would be nice. And maybe they'll let me. <gasps> um, get over there to see you for the on Tuesday, March the 8th for the Mad Scientist Club. Yep, it's after school at four o'clock too. You know, that looks just like me. <laughs> Maybe. No, not really. Yeah, yeah. I can't wait to find out what that green stuff is. There's no telling knowing <laughs> me. Could be shamrock slime. And story times are starting back. We really hated having a break from those in January and February, and we're glad that they're starting back. The read and play story time will be on Tuesdays at the Ben May Main Library, and good listener story time with Mr. Butch at the Moore Spring Hill Branch Library on Wednesdays at 10 a.m. And I had some here today. 
and we read Mulberry Street. Excellent. And then there are some special story times coming up. There's going to be Bernheim story time on Wednesday, March the 16th at 10 a.m. We're going to be clickety clack reading and singing and playing all with trains. All right. And March the 19th, we're going to have fa family story and craft time on Saturday at the Ben May Main Library. And I believe you're going to have that on Saturday Story and Craft Time on March the 26th. That is right. Absolutely. So both of us are doing lots of stuff going on with me and you. That's for sure. And you're going to be sewing, right? I'm on March the 12th. Sewing. That's right. So until it might, since it's the 12th, might have something to do with St. Patrick's Day. We'll have to see. It's going to be a lot of fun, whatever it is. And then Ooh. at the Virginia Dillard Smith Tolmanville Branch Library, they're going to have a pot of gold scavenger hunt on March the 16th and 17th from 3 to 5. And they're also going to honor women in history for Women's History Month with a Women's History Month challenge. Every afternoon, Monday through Thursday, I believe it is, 3 to 5 p.m. All right. And then in Grand Bay, they're going to be making cricket creations. And they said for all ages, family, children, teens, adults, but you need to make reservations to come to that one. It will be on March the 14th at 10 a.m. at Grand Bay Library. And the number to call for reservations is 494-2207, 494-2207. That sounds like a lot of fun. I know right, we uh, enjoy the cricket when we make things with it here. Oh, yes. And the West Regional Library is having an exhibit kaleidoscope that you can Take a self-guided tour. The whole family can come March the 21st through April the 30th. It's an exhibit on Eugene Walter, the world of Eugene Walter. And the Ben May Main Library has an exhibit, Explore the Essential Role that Pollinators Play in the Natural World. It started actually today right. through April the 16th. It's really neat. I got to see it. And you know, there's an event that's coming up in April that I want to let everybody know about because it's going to be April 2nd from 10 to noon. Here at the Ben May Main Library, we're going to have a spring extravaganza. We're still working out the details, but there's going to be an Easter egg hunt and we're working out the details, but it's looking like the Easter bunny is going to make a visit and there's going to be lots of other crafts and games and outdoor games and things to play that day. So mark your calendar, April the 2nd from 10 to 12 down Ooh, at the May Main fun. Library. Oh, that sounds fun. Wow. I might have to, what day of the week is that? A Saturday? Saturday. Well, if I don't work, I might have to come down there and do the Easter egg hunt. Would you let me look for Easter eggs? I I'm would. Old. I'm too old, aren't I? But I, I think you might be able to find a partner who's younger and needs some assistance. Oh, well, I could do that. Yeah, I could help somebody. I could drag them all over the place looking for eggs. That's, I mean, uh, anyway, <clears throat> I would never drag a child around looking for Easter eggs. I would never. Working on that. some prize eggs, some painting, a few other things up my sleeve. It's going to be fun. Come out and play with us April the 2nd. That sounds like a lot of fun. A lot of fun. I tell you. Mm. So. How many people did we have come see us today? Anybody? I hope so, because we got that real nice water bottle that you can get to let us know that you came and listened to Miss Rhodes and Mr. Butch go crazy on the internet like we always do. We <laughs> missed Miss Jamie today, but she had something else she had to do. So it was just the two of us getting ready for all the neat stuff that's happening 
in the library this Check month. Check out my I other mean, screen. Oh. Let's see. If you I have, have another any, screen? I got another screen. I'm looking to see if we have any comments. So be sure and leave your comments so that we can put you in the drawing for this nice water bottle. Definitely. Definitely. And I'm sure all the different branches are going to have crafts available this month that have all different things. This week, I've got um, cat in the hat hats that you can come by and get and color and with a piece of yarn, put it on your head so that you can wear it this week while you're doing Read Across America. And just come see us. Talk to us. We'll show you some neat books that you can read. And maybe show you some stuff you didn't know that we had here at the library. And I'm hoping next month, I'm planning on it. We're crossing our fingers. I'm hoping I'll be able to start doing my Legos again next month. Oh, uh, I hope so. And add some more story times too. I'm just doing it at 10 o'clock this month, but I might be adding my other times back next month. It just depends on how things are going. And we just appreciate you all being so patient with us, but we're trying to keep you safe because we don't want you to get sick. So just keep looking online, tuning in to Wacky Wednesday every month so that you can see what's going on at the library. There's always going to be something going on at the library that's going to be fun. But to keep up with it, go online or go by your branch and maybe get a calendar that shows you all the events that are going on at your particular library because there are also stuff for bigger kids and for the adults going on too. But you have to understand, Miss Rhodes and I are both children at heart. So we play with the little ones. I had the ones that came to story time today and I looked at them and I said, hello, mommies, y'all are very nice, but you understand these little ones are the ones that are closer to my age. Because I, they're what make me tick. So it was great seeing some kids and I know Miss Rhodes feels the same way um, that we're grand, it's grand to see y'all coming back in the library. It, it really, really is. So it is. I, I can't wait till tomorrow for Steam Club. That's going to be fun. <laughs> I know it is. It always is or whatever. So um, just remember, Dr. Seuss, Dr. Seuss is on the loose, is on the loose. So you watch for him and read some of those Dr. Seuss books this month and celebrate his birthday this week with Read Across America. This is Mr. Butch from the Moore Branch Library and his partner. Miss Rhodes, and comment and tell me if you've read Sneaks and what you're reading for Read Across America today and this week. Absolutely. See you next Bye. time. Bye.